Hello Terra board members and welcome to JDL's amazing corn cookout where we are going to be sharing with you some real corny recipes. Wink, wink. Ah, wink. Can I wink? Wink. Anyway, we're getting off track um, and hopefully blowing away some of the January blues. Um, Naya will be on drinks, Sophie's on mains and Rosa will be on desserts and I will be here as your host and um we're all pretty spread out at the moment sophie is at home in chile i am locked down in england and rosa and naya are both in the netherlands so uh, we thought we would um compile a video together and post it on youtube so wherever this video finds you we hope you're staying safe and healthy and eating lots of lovely food so without further ado here's our video so to kick us off, we've got Naya, who is going to be preparing um, her Three Seas Cool Cold Caribbean drink, um, which is refreshing and a bonkers colour, and we always like that. Um, so here's Naya's bit. event Sophie is preparing a traditional Chilean dish called pastel de choclo I hope I'm saying that right um with her family in Chile uh which she does a much better job of explaining what it is so here she is hi everyone so I'm Sophie um the chair of Yam a lot today we're going to be making a traditional Chilean recipe called pastel de choclo which basically means corn cake in English. It's uh, something we eat during the winter most of the time and also during the month of September. Um, first, we're going to start showing you the ingredients. Uh, well, of course, you need corn. You're going to need about five corns. Then you need about three eggs, about half a kilogram of grounded beef. Then you need uh, about three chickens. I'm going to make more because we're making for my whole family. Um, in my family, we put basil on it, in it. Um, we put olives and then we put uh, three white onions, which you have to start by peeling them. Uh, in my house, we have a machine which does most of the hard job for us. So we only cut it in quarters but uh your end result is supposed to look like the one that i'm showing you right here it's supposed to be very small and fine and um almost pureeish but not really there um it's supposed to still have a bit of a crunch if you if if you want that taste in the cake in the end now we move on to the corn which is the star of the show um you start by peeling it and then you slice it until you have it uh, like I'm showing you on the plate. Uh, this is the moment where we put the basil in because then we're gonna um, we're gonna mush it all together so it becomes a paste. That's really important because that's gonna be the top of the cake. I'm calling it a cake because it's not a dessert cake, but it's like a think of a shepherd's pie, something like that. Um, like I'm showing you here, it's, uh, another step that you're going to take in the meantime, which is m mixing the, the onion that you chopped before with the beef. 
that's really important because it creates something that we call pino, which is something that we use in a lot of our dishes here in Chile. That you let it sit until the meat is not fully cooked, but like halfway there so that it can cook in the oven afterwards when you have the whole uh, cake assembled. Um, after this, we're going to move on to the corn, to the mushing of the corn. I'm calling it mushing. Um, then uh, you, we personally put it in the machine, but you can also do this by just doing it in a blender or um, chopping it really fine. That way it's going to turn a little bit more crunchier, but um, it's still going to work fine. Mm. The moment that I'm showing you now, it's how the paste is supposed to look like. It's supposed to be really thin, but at the same time, goopy. I, it's kind of like a midpoint because it's going to sit on top of everything else. Um, after that, I'm showing how you assemble it. Um, this is me trying to assemble the pastel. Um, first you put a layer of meat, of pino, the meat and the onion that you uh, cooked halfway. Uh, you put as much as you want. We usually put about one third. So then one third is the chicken and then one third is the uh the paste the the corn paste um here's the it's me just putting the meat in it and then uh comes the part where you put the eggs and the olives and the chicken in um i didn't mention this before but uh the chicken you need to just cook it as any regular chicken you can do it as in any way that you want. We personally do it on like a stove, like with a closed pot, so that it keeps the moisture inside. Um, then you hard boil the eggs and then you cut them in qu to quarters so that you can just place them on top of the meat with the olives as well. Um, yes, so... This is every step that you need to take. Then you put the chicken in the places where you want to have a serving. So preferably it's one piece of chicken or one piece of your preferable protein per serving. So that's how you know when to cut it and what square you're going to have. And it's better to have like one egg and one olive in the same serving so that people can get what they want. Um because then you get like the full flavor of the of the pie. I'm calling it cake pie. Um, then I'm showing you how it's supposed to look like. You have the olives, you have the eggs, you have the two chickens that we're gonna do for those two servings. And then you move on to um, the paste, which is the thing that goes on top. Um, yeah, so here is me again, assembling the the cake here you put it on top of everything it's supposed to not show anything that's below it it's supposed to be on top of everything not a very thin layer you can really choose it's okay we choose it to do one third one third one third because that gives it a more balanced flavor uh, but that's totally up to you if you want um and yeah after you put the the corn paste on top you put a little bit of sugar on top so that it creates like a little crust on top, which is really nice. And it gives it a little bit of sweet and sour and and salty flavor to it. Um, and then we have a bit of a, a overall doing it with, a, with an overshot. Here you see my father doing it. Um, I'm holding the camera, of course. But... Um, yeah, that's how you do it. So you put the meat, then you put the chicken, then you put the olives, a couple of eggs, and then you put the corn paste on top with the chicken, with the sugar. I'm sorry. Um, then afterwards, when you're all done, you can see it looks nice and thin, like a nice and smooth layer on top of it. Um, and afterwards, when it's cooked, you leave it in the oven for about... Um, 30 minutes or until you see the sugar getting golden brown on top, that's when you know that it's pretty much cooked already because the chicken's already cooked. The meat is the only thing that needs to be cooked further. Um, 
And then you see a close shot of what it looks like when you cut it open. You see that it has uh, the egg, the olive, you have a little bit of meat, a little bit of corn, and a little bit of chicken, which is really nice. And yes, that was my bid for the main dish for our cooking show. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions about it and you want to make it, I'll be willing to do it with you or teach you how to do it. It's fine. Um, so yeah, enjoy. And last but definitely not least, we have Rosa making some amazing popcorn um, that she spruces, spruces, spices up her um, recipe with some spices and yummy things like that. So take it away, Rosa. Okay, um, welcome everybody to my video. So I'm going to be making popcorn, which I know doesn't sound that interesting, but I'm going to be making it on the stove to start with with raw kernels. So I've never tried that before. We'll see how it goes. And I'm going to make uh, two pretty special Mexican themed seasonings to go on them. One savory and one sweet. So I'm going to make a kind of Doritos uh, seasoning and then I'm making like a sort of chili chocolate seasoning as well. And um, both of them are going to be vegan. So great snack. Let's get to it. Concludes our American corn cookout. God, oh, that's such a tongue twister. Try corn cookout, corn cook. Nah, can't do it. <laughs> anyway, that is the end of our American corn cookout. Um, we hope we provided you with some inspiration and some smiles along the way. And um, yeah, adios from us. Stay safe.